All right, we're here at Mount Pinos on September 19th. Local time is about 10.40 in the evening. The moon is just about set, and we're staring at the Milky Way looking due south with a uh, Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor super high performance image intensifier connected to a Sony A7S camera running at a 60th of a second shutter ISO of 1600. And this is handheld 1x view, and I'm just going to slowly sweep up into the Milky Way so you can kind of see what that little bad boy looks like in real freaking time. No tricks, just some night vision gadgetry. So we're up here directly overhead, somewhere in Cygnus, and I will slowly come down into, I don't know, what is it, Cassiopeia maybe? And we'll end up looking due north as we touch the horizon here. There's a star cluster right there that might be the double clustering Perseus, not sure. Keep coming down. There's the tree line at Mount Pinos, California. And, uh, hey man, there you have the starry skies, and that's my telescope getting in the way. What are you doing that for? Where's the, uh, cabin in the woods? Right there. It might be readable. Uh, yeah, it does. It says Mount Pinos Recreation Area, I think. Let me turn off my red light. So I'm totally not cheating. So that's utter darkness. And we'll go back up again. We'll just do a sweep one more time the other way, if I can figure out where everything is. So going back up to the zenith, into Cygnus, I imagine. Milky Way's running left to right, then we'll come back down. All handheld, 1x view, f1.2 optics in front of the image intensifier tube, is standard night vision lens, f1.2 27mm supposedly lens. And then we're back looking south into, I think, Sagittarius more. So there you have the Milky Way in 1x real time with a white phosphor image intensifier tube. That is a wrap.